Is my penis too small for me to be a swinger? This is the number one question we get from men all over the world all the time. Hi, I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And in this video, we're gonna talk about is penis size really that important in the lifestyle? And you're gonna be surprised by the answer. That's right, and like the eggplant emoji, this is gonna be a juicy one. Keep watching. So yes, penis size, Yeah, that is an important question. And, it, and it's one of those things that people will always ask us. I'll always be like, is mine too small? All I see is porn where guys have giant, enormous cucumber penises. Is that how it actually is yeah. in the lifestyle? Yeah. And I think people are actually surprised by the average size of a man's penis. Right. So this is what we want you to do before we get into this. We want you to comment below what you think the average man's penis is in length. So comment below right now what you think it is, and we'll get to that in just a few minutes, so stay tuned. So what do you think about penis size? Is that something that you really think about a lot when you're playing with men? You know, it's never been, for me personally, it's never been something that I've thought about, that I've felt like I needed to interview them and be like, um, before we go to the back, I need to like get the measuring tape out or whatever. You know, it's, <laughs> um, I can't say that I've ever been with someone where I've been like, well, that was disappointing or, oh my gosh, I don't want to even go there. So for me, like too large or too small, I mean, they both could be a problem. Okay, but you've never had an issue with someone being too small and you were disappointed by the size? I don't think that I have. If I have, I don't remember. So okay. if I was disappointed, it wasn't something that haunts me. And Oh, that would have been so amazing if only his penis was two inches larger. Mm -hmm. For me, I really, I mean, I really truly look at this lifestyle as a hobby. Okay. We both do. Right. And for me, it's like, as long as I'm having fun during the event, um, when we're having sex, if I I'm having a good time and he knows how to use it and and he's not feeling like bad about his penis size and bringing that into the bedroom then I don't really have much to complain about because I'm there for a good time I'm there for fun if if it was a problem for me and I felt like it was too small for whatever reason I'm not looking for a partner. Like mm -hmm. maybe if I was dating someone, I would care about that. Okay. But in the lifestyle, I'm not dating this person. Right. I'm just out to have a little fun for a couple of hours. So that for me is not a big deal. Okay. So you don't think you would have the conversation with somebody beforehand? About, I never have. Yeah. And I can't imagine myself ever doing that. Yeah. Uh, I feel like if I've got a connection with a person mm -hmm. and for me as someone who does need to have a connection with someone to go move forward to a playroom, yeah. I'm not going to bring up penis size because again, it's not the top of my list. I want to feel comfortable with the person. I want to feel like we have a connection emotionally and physically before I go to the back okay. and so for me that is way more important than penis like even for me like looks aren't the thing like I'm not gonna be searching for what society says is the hottest person out there okay. necessarily because for me you could be super hot but be an asshole and I'm not attracted to you sure so I feel like penis size could be the same thing like you could be have a great personality and your penis could be average or below average but if you don't like act like that and you don't bring that attitude into the bedroom, we're still gonna have a really great time. That's a good point. Actually, we were talking to a unicorn friend of ours just yesterday and she was saying that a lot of men, if they have a big penis and they will bring that in as all they have to offer, mm -hmm. they will actually start out really, really early in the conversation going, hey, I have a huge penis. We should go in the back and play. And it's like most women just don't go, okay, right, because right, of that reason. Right. There's so many other important things that women are looking for right. that the penis size and I'm sure there are outliers and I, and oh, yeah. I definitely have seen some women who are I would they would call size queens that sure. are specifically you know you need to be an eight inch penis before right. I'm going to take it in the back you know you need to be a giant cucumber in the back in the <laughs> yeah before you before I take it in the back <laughs> you need to be eight inches. yeah there's probably not a lot of women who say that they, they're, they're, you know yeah <laughs> although you know teach his own right teach right. his own to I mean, that I, I would say the lifestyle we've always said is your journey. You make it your journey. And one of the things that I love about the lifestyle is whatever your fantasies and desires are, you can find them out there. Right. And if you are someone who only wants people who are a certain size and you
and you don't even care about personality or looks or anything else. You're just focused on the penis. Well, that's fine. That's their journey. But maybe if you have an average size or a, a below average size, that's not your person anyways. Why would you want to be with that person? Mm -hmm. So I feel like there's probably a lot more people out there like me yeah. that are more into, I want to get to know you. I want to have a, a, a physical and an emotional connection. What's down there is more of secondary. And when you say that, when you say emotional connection, that emotional connection could be literally 10 minutes of time. Oh, sure. Summer. It doesn't mean like I've known them for weeks. It could be that. Yeah. And you sometimes are like that, but but there, it could be just like we've talked, we've made a connection. You seem like a cool guy. Okay, I can see us having this having fun in the back. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't take it to heart that when you're like, oh, she's going to be so disappointed in the size of my penis right. because it's so small or whatever it might be. Like, I wouldn't even want someone if I was flirting with someone and we can feel that we had a good connection and we felt like it was going to move towards a playroom I wouldn't even want them to be like oh by the way I have a small dick because I feel like you're bringing that energy in mm -hmm. like what am I supposed to say to that oh uh never mind like oh uh cool like how am I supposed to react to that I guess it's different I've never seen someone in the lifestyle with like a micro penis sure maybe I'd care about that but I I've never been with someone with one, so I, I can't say how I would react in that situation. I still wouldn't like, in the middle of play, personally, I wouldn't stop it and move on. I mean, I kind of want to see what you're going to do. How are sure. you going to handle it? What, what's going to happen? We already have this emotional connection. Right. If you have all of the boxes checkmarked, mm -hmm penis size isn't one of the boxes that I need to check mark. You know, if, if I've got an attraction, if I've got a physical attraction and an emotional con a connection and that kind of stuff, those boxes are the important ones for me. Penis mm. size isn't even on that. Right. And I've definitely talked to some men who have, who are on the smaller side. I'm, I'm not talking about micro penis, so that's a whole other ballgame, right. but, but on, on the smaller side of average. And they say that it really just kind of boils down to how you use it. Mm -hmm. And and that there are ways that even being on the smaller side that you can change positions, that you can move around a little bit, that you can get all the right spots on a woman, even by being small. Right. And, and I, I think too, because you, it's your penis, and you know how to use it, push for those positions. You know, if you know that being on top is better for your partner because of the way your penis is or whatever, like do that. Right. Uh -huh. You know, I, uh, so often um, I feel like I'm very shy. My partners end up usually being either intimidated or shy. Right. And it, it's very difficult to figure out what position to get into. And then at one point, do we switch? Like that's something so if you know what works best for you and your penis like put your person into that position and if she wants to switch for whatever reason you know try it but i, I think you know how to work it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. work it show your best work and if it isn't something that you feel confident with or you really don't feel like you can find those positions or you're just not mentally there, there are other things that you can do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, use your fingers. Mm -hmm. Use your mouth. Those are just things that you should have in your back pocket anyway. Yeah. Uh, because that's part of the whole experience when you're playing with someone is to do all of the things. Mm -hmm. It's not just to be five minutes in the back and then, and then you're done. You came and then she's like like what just happened and then you're done that's that's no fun that's no fun for anybody no. so so you want to be able to prolong it you want to give the best experience we did a, a talk not long ago in front of a whole bunch of people and and i remember saying that the most important thing to me when i'm playing with anybody my goal is to get the person that i'm playing with to want to play with me again and so i'm going to put all of my effort into having an enjoyable experience for them and i think everybody men and women women feel the same way. That's their goal is to have that person really enjoy themselves, but get to that point of actually wanting them to play with you again, mm -hmm. which means that you're putting your best foot forward, whatever types of issues you might have. If you, you have a bad back, so you can't get into this position or whatever it might be. I mean, there's, a, there's a million reasons why you could be 
held up a little bit yeah. in, in how you're going to play or if you're going to play comfortably or if you're going to feel confident enough or you're a little bit overweight or whatever. I mean, there's a million things. Mm-hmm. And so if you just go, you know what, this is me. This is what I am. I'm going to put my best foot forward. It's going to be an enjoyable experience and have that mentally in there. Then it becomes really not a non-issue. I mean, there is a reason they brought you to the back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There is a reason that they accepted your invitation to the back, uh, that there was something that they were attracted to. Mm-hmm. Personality looks whatever. Like, so feel excited about that. Feel good about that. And and try and leave all of the issues that we all have at the, at the door. Yeah. Like there's no reason to bring those into the bedroom. Right. Right. Don't be concerned about what you can't do. Mm-hmm. Uh, focus on what you can do. Yeah. And, and don't be concerned about, Oh, she's going to be disappointed in the size of my penis. Cause she might not care or, or you, are just so into like she's going to enjoy this no matter what size I am that it doesn't even matter it doesn't even matter and you're going in there with this mental attitude of it's going to be amazing because I'm going to make it amazing and she'll reciprocate that and make it amazing for me and you have the best experience that way that's it All right. so here's a question for you gentlemen have you ever been in a situation where you've experienced an issue with your size being too small or whatever it might be and how did you handle that please comment below and also ladies do you agree with us or do you agree with Bianca? Uh, Do you feel the same way? We would love to hear your comments about that. So please comment below. All right. So here's the part that you've been waiting for. What is the average man's penis length? This is a surprising one. All right. All right. But first, if you could do me a huge favor, could you click that like button below? When you do that, that helps other people find our videos and then we can just get our information out there for everybody to see. And if you find value in this video, could you click the subscribe button. That way you'll be alerted when we've got new videos out and you'll get to learn everything there is to know about the lifestyle. All right. So the average man's penis size, do you want to take a guess? I feel like we need a drum roll. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. All right. The average man's penis size is 5.1 inches. That's right. That's right. So, so many people think that it's six inches, seven inches, eight eight inches. inches. That's just not true. Keep yeah. in mind, in porn, they go for bigger guys on average. Mm-hmm. But more than more than anything, they also go for camera angles. Mm-hmm. So they show it from a specific position and to make it look. And you know that you've done those camera angles yourself. Oh yeah, when I see the dick pic, I'm like all about the <laughs> force perspective, is what it's right? called. So 5.1 inches is literally this pen. People think it's bigger, but it's not. 5.1 inches, and that's the average anywhere. Okay, so including places like Club Sapphire. www.clubsapphire.net and if you've enjoyed this conversation what we want you to do now is actually let's keep the conversation going we've talked about penis size but here's another question what about age differences is that a factor when you're playing the lifestyle so we actually have this video right here that talks about our big age differences okay in the lifestyle and what we want you to do is click on it right now come on right now